Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name's Jeff Lanoski. Today is gonna be an awesome day because we're gonna take a look at my brand new Reebs diesel, which also happens to be my old Reebs diesel. Spring is in the air and it's time for a new bike check. But like I said in the opener, this new bike check is actually an old bike. So the first time I showed you this bike was just about a year ago. This is the Reeb Steezel. This bike has a steel front triangle with an aluminum rear triangle and that initial setup had 155 millimeters of rear travel. And when I showed you that bike, it was painted a dark eggplant with some purple accents. And I had a ton of fun riding this bike all across the country last year. So let's take a quick look at some of my favorite rides on this bike from last year. I had a ton of fun riding that bike all season long, hammering the heck out of it. And at the end of the year, I took it apart to do some service on it, and all the bushings and bearings and everything was in great shape. As a pro rider, we're so used to getting new bikes, but what better way to help build customer confidence than to stand behind the product and keep it rolling into a new season. So the color scheme that I chose was this cool raspberry frame with bronze limited edition Industry 9 components. I did do some component refreshing and there's some new things on my bike, so let's dive into them. The most exciting thing about this bike is that now you can run the Steezel at 155, like I showed you last year, and 140 millimeters of rear travel as well. And that's accomplished by using this shock extender. In order to run it at 155 millimeter travel, you run a 205 eye to eye rear shock. When you go to the 140 configuration, it changes to a 185. The first time I got to ride it was out in Sedona and I was really impressed at how well it handled technical ups and hucks to flat. Let's dive into the component choices on this bike. I'm using a Pro Tharsis carbon handlebar 30 millimeter rise, as well as XTR four piston trail brakes. For the headset, I'm using a Cane Creek 110 Hellbender. For the front fork, I'm using a Helm MK2 set at 160 millimeters. I think that this fork really comes alive when you play with the volume adjustment. So if you decide to give this fork a shot, which I highly recommend, try experimenting with the volume adjustment. It really changes the fork's ability to feel more supple and soak up the small hits. So the biggest change to the cockpit is the switch to a 50 millimeter stem. I really like the ability to get a little bit more weight on the front tire when cornering, and it definitely helps on the technical ups. For wheels, I'm running these really cool limited edition Industry 9 bronze Enduro 300s. For tires, I'm using Vittoria Mazza. I use a trail casing to keep the weight down a little bit. I'm using 203 millimeter rotors front and rear. For rear suspension, I'm using a Cane Creek Tigon shock. What I really like about this shock is that you set your sag by choosing the proper spring, and then by adding air to the air chamber, you can add between zero and 30 PSI to adjust the progressivity of the shock. So if you're riding real technical terrain, you can make it a little bit more progressive. And if you're doing really long downhills, you can make it nice and supple. For cranks, I'm using Shimano XTR with a 32 tooth chain ring. The rear derailleur is a Shimano XTR and I'm using a 1051 rear cassette. Those cranks are spinning on a Cane Creek Hellbender bottom bracket. And I'm running some flat pedals on here right now. Since it's a winter, I decided to give these a shot. Another new addition to the bike is the Pro Saddle. It's a nice shorter design. It doesn't seem to hang up on my pants or shorts when I ride and it's great for long days. Another thing you notice on the handlebars is the Orange Seal sticker. Orange Seal has been a big supporter of the channel for a long time, and it keeps me running flat free, so I definitely recommend using it. All right, so there's my new bike. I'm really looking forward to having such a versatile machine that I could run at either 140 for some tech riding and 155 if I'm really looking to try to get rowdy on this thing. Having a bike that's so versatile is gonna be really cool. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below to the Reeb website so you can check out this and all of our other bikes 
as well as some links to some of my other partners like Victoria and Cane Creek, where you can get some new deals heading into the riding season, maybe freshen up your bike a little bit. I had a ton of fun making this video. I know I'm gonna have a ton of fun riding this bike. So until next time, get out there and be a boss.